What is up, YouTube? It is Friday. We got through this week. We are almost at the end of June. Hope everybody had a good week. Um, hope we all have a good start to the weekend. Um, so, uh, I was going to do a group live tonight, but nobody reached out saying they were interested. So, um, I figured I would talk about a couple things. Um, one thing is something that's bothering me and maybe I should put an apology out there to you guys. I don't know if it's my fault or not. Um, I want to talk about card ladder. Um, the NBA, they posted the schedule, so we can talk about that if basketball comes back. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about card ladder first. Um, and I'll bring it up just to kind of show a little bit about it. Um, I've messed around with it for a little bit this evening. Um, not a whole, whole lot. But, um, here it is. Um, from what I'm getting here, this ladder is like a, kind of a ranking system. Um, they have a score. Um, the score is the, it says it describes the growth of a card over the last two weeks. Um, the Hall of Fame score does the, the past 90 days. Um, undervalue cards are the difference between market value and predicted value. Um, and then you can go here, it shows price, and then you can go the hottest players in the hobby. Now, I want to say I haven't... Uh, you know, I haven't got to mess with this a whole lot, but at, and this is just my, my opinion on it, um, it's a cool website, but at this time and at the stage that it is in, I don't see it being beneficial for me to spend $15 a month on it. Reason why is, you know, you look at this score thing here, you're looking at, you know, a $5,000 card, a $1,000 card, you know, you can see these prices here, um, that's a raw card, um, there's a Robert and a 9, um, it's just... It's not really anything that would benefit me um, because I'm not dropping $21,000 on a PSA 10 Jordan sticker and I don't think most people are or you know 5000 on a LeBron pristine refractor. Um, it seems to be focused on high, high-end cards right now. Um, like, I'll show you, for example, um, if I do... Let me just go up here and do, like, price. And I can go over here and search for a card and do 2018 tops update. There's no 2018 Tops update. Now, we all know Acuna has been one of the hottest cards. Soto is a hot card. Um, I tried looking up the Tom Brady's I've bought to see what they showed. 2000 Upper Deck. Tom Brady. Nothing. Um, so, to me, I think it's missing out on the depth of it right now um you know you go here to the price point and you're seeing these values you know these are houses 
these aren't pieces of cardboard these are how and really why would you even have this card on there i mean it's a one-on-one nebula luca i doubt this card is going to change hands many times so to to make this a priority to put on here is uh you know when you're when you're putting out a product and you're given a seven day trial, I would have thought they would have started with more popular moving cards instead of focusing on these quarter million to a million dollar cards here. Um, I would have liked to have seen more in the terms of cards that were you know more frequently sold and moved. Um, so th that's just my opinion on it. Um, could it be a cool product? You know, product in the future, yeah. Um, but I think right now, I mean, like a, a Topps Chrome Black Label LeBron. I mean, we all know that card is expensive. Um, you know, this is a gold vinyl to five. These, these cards aren't moving very much. They're not changing hands very much. So I, I just don't see it being necessary to have these on first to put out a product. Um, it would have been really cool to, you know, to have more, more popular, you know, cards that are sold daily frequently. Um, I also, I, let me just look before I say I, there's none on here. Um, yeah, if I do SGC 10, the only thing that's coming up is a Zion. I mean, so, you know, it, I say let's give them some time and see where they go with it. Um, not I'm not bashing the website. I think it's it's a cool concept. I just don't see it too beneficial, especially for myself right now. Um, with this sort of thing, it almost reminds me. Um, do you guys remember back in the day Beckett had the hot list, and then they'd have like I think it was the hot list and the not list or something like that they'd showcase like 25 cards that were popular and then some that had fell off or whatever um that's kind of what this is seeming to me a little bit like just you know more in depth um and if you also notice it's very very highly focused on basketball um which, you know, understandably, basketball is, there's a lot of money in the market for basketball. Um, there was surprisingly, I don't remember how I found it. Uh, let me go over here to score. I think it was the score list. Or somewhere I, I found... I found somewhere on here, there was an awful lot of hockey listed. And I know I've been talking about hockey a lot lately, um, but it surprised me with the amount of basketball on here. There was a lot of hockey. Like, compared to baseball and football even. Um, yeah, right here, you know, there's hockey. Uh, there was some something I clicked on on here had a lot. Of hockey in it. Uh, don't remember where it was. Let me see. Was it the Hall of Fame score? Maybe. There's a Lemieux. It was one of these tabs I clicked on. I can't remember where it was now. Um. 
but there was a lot on here more than I expected um, so anyway you know just a quick you know look through it I, I think it can be a real cool product um, if they keep up with it but I would really like to see I'd like to see it when there's more content on it um, the other thing um, adding to your collection especially right now when there's not a lot on here um, you know like I said I, I searched a couple things um, and they weren't on here so I would have to add it and so you know uploading my images and all that because I don't have all of my collection you know I could probably do my SGC scans and put it on here um, but that could get very tedious I mean that's one thing with like listing on eBay it takes a while to do um, so adding to this as well could take you know a lot of time up um, so that, that's just a that's that's just a, a basic first impression of it um, I'm not knocking it I just wish they had some more content on it um, and more higher flowing cards you know ones that are moving often ones that are hitting more of the market rather than just the the high end stuff um, but yeah I mean like I said at this moment I don't see it beneficial might check it out you know give it some time give them give them time to build the database and everything check it out again and see how it goes um, but this I just wanted to give a first impression I told you guys once I could use it and see how it was I would give my opinion so that's my first impression that's all it is guys um, next I'm going to talk about the NBA if this comes back I know a lot of people are excited um, I'm still being more to the realistic side and I don't see it happening but if it does the NBA has released a schedule so you could go through here and kind of see what teams are playing um, you know who who's playing who um, to get into you know the final spots or whatever one thing I did kind of find interesting was I think the Pelican schedule is kind of weak <laughs> especially here at the end I mean they close it out with Kings Wizards first Kings magic it's kind of weak um, they do start with Jazz Clippers Grizzlies so their first three games back would be kind of tough but then they got five games that are you know not real tough opponents um, if you look at the Grizzlies they start with the Blazers they have the Pelicans and they have the Jazz they have the Raptors the Celtics and the Bucks so if you was to base off of this schedule you could potentially say the Pelicans have the odds better than the Grizzlies to get into the playoffs because closing out with the Raptors Celtics Bucks versus Kings Wizards Spurs Kings Magic you know that <laughs> I think I think it's on the side of Pelicans there um, but you know this is all if it even happens um, I think the Wizards I think they have to win like every game to get back um, looking at this aside from the Bucks and the Celtics they could potentially do it um, you know Suns Nets Pacers Sixers Pelicans, Thunder, Bucks, and Celtics. Um, yeah, <laughs> I I kind of thought the same thing, but I didn't want to say that. <laughs> but right now, it looks like the Pelicans would have the the closer or the the better edge than um, than the Grizzlies, but. 
anyway, um, I, I don't know how many of you knew that they had posted this. I just got the alert before, um, before I got on here. Um, speaking of, uh, speaking of, um, 2020 series two, um, I want to go here real quick, right here, Tony, Tony, uh, actually went and checked out that card shop I told him about. And he bought two hobby boxes. And check this out, guys. He hit the 2030 Robert, a base Robert, a gold Robert, and the rainbow foil Robert. So, two boxes, he got the rainbow foil and a gold. So, congrats to him. However, guys, I want to show something. Right here. I noticed, if you look right here on Robert's bat, you can barely see any black on his bat look at the where the white socks logo is now you can see the tops logo looks like it's closer to the top here of the card now look at this one the tops logo is further down the white socks logo looks almost exactly the same as this one the distance here looks the same right but this tops logo is further down and you can see black on his bat up here So, I said something about it because as y'all know, 2020 has been crazy to figure out how to grade. And I mentioned um, what I noticed with the bat and everything. So he actually pulled the two cards out. He laid them on top of each other. And look at this, guys. The gold is actually cut shorter than the rainbow foil. So, I don't know if this is going to be a situation where, like, 2019 Tops Chrome, when um, Alonzo, Tatis, Vlad, and Eloy were cut smaller, and Tops is going to have to make a statement, or if grading companies are going to say they're under minimum size requirements, um... But I, I noticed the bat right away, and then I started looking at the Topps logo, and the, the White Sox logo looked the same on both of them, but the Topps logo looked like it was closer to the top. And then he pulled the cards out and actually laid them on top of each other and realized they're not cut the same. So the gold is actually smaller than the rainbow foil. So... I don't know what that's going to do in terms of grading, but either way, Tony, awesome that you went and got to check out the card shop. It's a really cool shop. Um, glad you got some product, and congrats on the hits. And thank you for sharing, because now I know not to buy 2020 Series 2, because you've already hit all the good stuff. All right. <clears throat> well, yeah, I, I noticed that bat, and I was like, what in the heck's going on here? And then I even looked. Um, if you look at this guy's neck right here and this woman's face, this guy's neck is much, much deeper on this card, and you can see more of her face back there. So I knew something was off on on the two cards. I just could I did I didn't expect them to be two different sizes. Um, but he pulled them back out, laid them on top, and they're actually the gold is the gold's actually cut smaller. So I don't know what they're gonna do about that. 
Um, but they're still nice hits either way. But um, <laughs> that's true, Amari. But I know my local card shop, and he doesn't get a lot of product. And I doubt there's two gold bro bears in one case. So, <laughs> um, I I know. The owner, he doesn't get a lot of allocation of product, so I know he doesn't have uh, too many of them. But, um, so anyway, um, okay. The next thing I want to discuss, um, I'm not going to mention any names of who reached out to me, but somebody reached out to me today about our about a purchase they made, and this isn't the first time this has happened to them since I put a video out. And it really pissed me off, to be honest with you, um, to hear that this is happening to people. And I know the person is a good buyer. I know they had no reason to do this to this person. Apparently, they've blocked this person on eBay before and then unblocked them. And it's just not right. And if this happens to anybody else, I want to apologize because when they told me that it's happened three times since I put a video out, it made me wonder if something wasn't said or if the video was watched or whatever, um, you know, whatever the case may be. But I don't want to be a, a conflict or, a, you know, a problem or cause anybody any problems because all I do when I get on here is I enjoy talking to you guys. I try to help you guys out and just have fun with the hobby. But I also try to speak truth when, you know, when I do this. And... I'm going to pull up um, a message I got from the person, and I, I took out their name and everything, but I'm going to show you guys this. So somebody reached out to me today, and they bought a card. To make matters even worse, they felt bad because the card they purchased, they actually wanted to send to me. And I'll show you guys what the card was. Now, that isn't what pissed me off. What pisses me off is it's the third time that it's happened to this person. Now... What this says is the seller canceled this order due to the following reason. I'm out of stock or the item is damaged. Now, they sent a refund. Okay. And there's the seller. And it's the third time it's happened to the same person. So, I'll show you guys the card. If I can get this thing to work. Here is the card. Now. This was a. BCCG. Playoff contenders insert. Rookie roundup. And it sold for a dollar. Now, first off, 
It ended at 5.16 a.m. That's not the buyer's fault. Secondly, according to Investacard's business model that they, their platform or whatever, um, the people send them cards, they have them graded, and then in turn, they sell them on eBay. So, how are they out of stock? On a 2003 Playoff Contenders Rookie Roundup, Terrell Suggs, BCCG. The fact is, is it sold for a dollar. And they weren't going to accept a dollar. All good and fine. Except for one problem, guys. They are promoting themselves as a company. They're not an individual seller. They're promoting themselves as a company. They are selling other people's cards. They are talking a lot about... SGC, who has grown tremendously. And to do things like this is a bad look. If you don't want to accept a dollar, then put a reserve on it, because this also, it also is against eBay seller policy. You cannot avoid eBay fees by claiming to cancel an order because it didn't sell for what you wanted to. It's happened multiple times. And I don't know what the other cards were. I don't know how much the other cards were selling for. And I don't... You know what, guys? Think of it this way. When I did the auction on YouTube, I sold you guys some cards that went cheaper than I had hoped I got for them. But I was doing an auction... You guys, you know, I knew I was helping you guys out. But what if I had done that auction and then came back and messaged all of you and said, Nope, I sold my stuff too cheap. I'm refunding all your money. You guys would never watch this. Y'all would stopped watching me. You would have never wanted me to do an auction again. You would never bought anything from me again. Nothing. That's... The point of this. Now, you know, it was the thought that counted from this person. Um, you know, just the fact that he's seen it on there and said, hey, I'm, you know, if I can win this, uh, I'm going to win it. But it, it's, it's wrong. And it, it pissed me off. It, you know, I would say who it was and they can verify. My wife can verify because she could read the messages. I was pissed. Um, here was a post on their uh, on their Instagram, you know, talking about PSA 10s. So which do you guys want to do? You know, do they want to do BGS? Do they want to do PSA? Or do they want to do SGC? I mean, I, I don't get it. Because their platform and their business is send them cards and they'll have them graded by SGC. So, what are they doing? Are they running a business? Or are they running a personal account? Or, you know, what are they doing? You know, I, I don't get it. Now, I want to show you guys something else. 
This is how bad it's gotten. Blowout forums. Okay? Huge forum. Huge forum. Look at this. Who are the worst people in the hobby? This forum started. Okay? Look at this. Where's it at? Well, anyway, somebody said I nominate sports card investor, right? And then this person starts listing investor card. This person thinks this person is this person. So now you have him tied with them because he did a YouTube video with them. This person says I nominate them. They say I have no problem with his business model. And, and he talks about Investacard. And then, look, do you guys remember? I talked about this, what, a, a week or more ago? About the initials. Look at this. They're showing all of these posts. And then here is someone commenting on it. I've been wondering about a few cards where I see marks like those on them. I was like, who cares what your initials are? What do you think their angle is? You know, um, I haven't gone through this whole thread. But, um... It's, it sucks, guys. It really, really, really sucks. Because I'm going to tell you, when I post things in the group, when I post things in the group talking, you know, trying to to calm the noise of, of the, the backup and everything else, I do that because I truly believe SGC and Peter, and Andy, and the rest of the crew, they are driven, and they really enjoy the hobby. They enjoy the hobby. They appreciate their customers. That is something that is very important to myself. Um... Because I think with that passion for the hobby, with the understanding of being of what being a collector is, I think that can push them to get better and better and better. Do you remember how people say that you know this company won't listen to its customers or this company won't listen to its customers? SGC is actually listening to their customers. That's something that we're not familiar with. Um, and they are trying to help everybody. Now, yes, it sucks, especially if you've used them and you were used to that super fast turnaround time and then it slowed down. That does suck. You know, we, we get that. But we can't expect them to just come in, blow up, and just, you know. And people keep throwing out there Peter's interview and how he was talking about wanting to meet and exceed those, those times. That is the goal. But it takes time. Um, so anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk about that because I was really pissed off today when I got that message. Um, I, I've never bought off of them. I, I've never, never bought anything off of them. Hearing that it's happened to someone three times since I did a video kind of 
pissed me off even more because, you know, if this was a cause from me, then I do apologize to all of you. Um, I'm just trying to speak truth. But I, I don't get on blowout forums. I don't post on there. Um, I don't post on blowout forums. Honestly, this was mentioned to me. Um, so I got on here and Googled it. Um, so this isn't anything to do with anything I've said. Unless these people are part of the YouTube channel. But, um, you know, I, I, if it's my fault, I apologize, guys. But, you know, I'm, I'm just going to speak speak the truth my wife did mention it <laughs> um she mentioned that she found this in a thread and so i googled it to find it to see exactly what they were saying on there i, I only went to this first page i didn't have to go far it was right here oh sorry i'm on the second page um so anyway um i just wanted them to mention that um Something else that I want to um, talk about. Have you guys ever seen this on an eBay listing? Apparently, if you give $10, uh, only $10 low rate, you can get... A review from a PSA authenticator. In 48 hours, guys. They got 48 hour turnaround time. But now, this says something about autographs, right? <laughs> but, look at this. This is a PSA card. This is a PSA graded card. And I can get an opinion from a PSA authenticator. Hey, that's cool. I could, I could pay them ten bucks to have them tell me why that card is a six. I mean, what's what's the point of that? You know, can I can I go to this one and say, hey, can you give me your opinion on what this will grade? I mean, it looks like it's in great shape. Holy jeez. <laughs> uh, don't buy that card, guys. <laughs> wow. But, yeah, I'd never, you know, I don't know what this is. It says something about a review oh and you get credit towards full PSA authentication whatever that means but down here it says review the images of the autographs but it's on every card it's on every card so I don't know I, I'm confused because this says images of the autographs but it's on every single card that that you look up like, I don't know, 2019, Top Series 2, Fernando Tatis. Um, here's a raw one. See, it's on any sports card. So, I, I don't quite understand it. But, you tried it, Gareth? I, I just noticed it's on every card. So, does that mean PSA have a deal with eBay now? Because I found that interesting too. What if I wanted BGS to authenticate the autograph? I don't get that option. You know, um... So, 
I don't know. I, I just seen that on there. I didn't know if people had noticed it. Um, normally, I hit this button and then the pay button. I don't really pay attention to all this garbage. Um, but anyway, actually, I, there's something I need to check on. I have eBay points and then it don't even tell me when I can use them or how much I have. I got to figure out where those are. Um, <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, anyway, I want to apologize again if I've caused anybody problems from buying from Investacard because I didn't mean that, but, um, <clears throat> Um, okay, so I mentioned last night about a live, uh, a live stream, um, and nobody's reached out, so if you would like to do a group live, please post on, in Facebook where I made the, the, um, thread yesterday. Um, also, I can't remember when my wife posted it, but she posted something in the Facebook group about doing the next, uh, auction or sale or whatever you want to call it. Um, she said that she thought most people said next Saturday, but I don't remember if she posted it earlier this week or last week um so you know if you guys want to do another sale or something i can do that um yes connor that can i'm gonna i'm gonna send you the uh the information about the group sub as well i'll message it to you Yeah, I know Connor and Mumbles and Level Jumper are three that that message me on Reddit. Um, I know they don't have Facebook, um, so no guns. SGC doesn't do autographed authentications anymore. They used to, but they stopped. They, they they don't do the uh, authentications anymore. They'll grade the autos if they're pack-pulled autos, but they won't authenticate a in-person. Um, uh, Gareth, yes. Um, I can't remember if PSA... Well, actually, SGC, I think, can do game-used items. Um, I think JSA does it. Uh, I don't know if PSA does game-used or not. Um, but when they do that, they can actually... Um, they normally give a certificate and will tell, you know... Maybe not specific game unless it has like the uh, the MLB hollow that they can track it to or whatever. But um, they can authenticate game used items. And they can also grade uh, game used items. Um, so, I will make another post. <laughs> yes, I have this thing, because I, I fixed the, I have this thing over here for the headset, because I thought people wanted to, 
wanted to do the live stuff so I have my headset stuff hooked up here and then I, I have all the stands right here I had to move them over so I apologize they're they're all on the screen <laughs> but I'm out uh, I'm out of room right here right now but <laughs> hey what's up Bailey dude Everybody, go check out Bailey Joe Cards. They're the ones I told you about um, last night. Uh, I was watching your uh, your Mega Box opening earlier, Bailey Joe. And FYI, Bummy Mega Boxes can hit incredibly well. <laughs> I, I loved 2017 Bowman Mega Boxes. Yeah, everybody, go go check them out. They got a really cool um, a really cool show. It um, the Bailey Joe Card Show. Um, like I told y'all last night, it's him and his brother and his cousin. Real cool that it's a little family group. Um, they have people on, like guests sometimes, you know, they have a lot of fun and everything, so really cool guys, um, go check them out, um, Gareth, this hat is every night, actually, this hat is gonna have to last me another year now, because they didn't play on Father's Day, so... It's got to make it another year. <laughs> You're on timeout. I, I've only put people in timeout twice, and they both deserved it. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys. So... Here, I'll go over here to it. Uh, right here. So, if we look at who all is in it so far, and um, count them up, we are just over 350 at this time. So, we should be able to hit... 500 plus easily um so that's awesome guys um guns if you send it to me i'll authenticate it for you brother i will tell you if that is hank's auto <laughs> i will say i will even clean it for you you will think it is a brand new baseball <laughs> Bailey, uh, in 2017, we hit the Black Mojo 101 uh, Kevin Maitan Auto. And um, at the time, that was the best prospect you could, you could get out of 2017. Obviously, um, people were wrong. So, um, you know, because Acuna was in there, but everybody wanted Maitan. So, um, that was a quick $3,500, and those boxes used to be 15 bucks at Target. So, um, yeah, that was, a, that was a hell of a hit. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. <laughs> hey, everybody is listening now. Now Aliko is going to post again and tell me that there's no way Zimmerman is going to be a Hall of Famer, man. Y'all going to keep keep saying it and uh, Aliko is going to stop watching the channel. <laughs> yeah, they're stirring the pot a little bit, but hey, hey.
There you go, guys. Just so you can see them better. <laughs> but do you guys want to do an auction tomorrow or do you want to do it next weekend? Or you can just let me know in the group. Um, man, if I could get Gary V to say that, that would be awesome. That would be awesome if I could get Gary V to say, buy Zimmerman rookies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm guessing right now he's big on Devin Booker. Um Yeah, Mumbles, it would be like the last time. It'd be like an auction slash sale. Um I I I don't know when y'all want to do the next one. Um But I I gotta do them on weekends. Do I have a couple? Uh, I, uh, Bailey Joe, you must not have seen our collection. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bailey Joe hasn't seen our collection because in the video that he did, that he showed our video in, I was live that night showing our collection. I noticed it on, um, here, I'll pull it up real quick. Videos, episode 13, right here. Yeah. If you look right there, I was actually showing <laughs> I was showing the uh the collection. <laughs> you can see I was live right there. So <clears throat> that's that that was funny that um you asked that because I had done a video showing my Nats collection, but um the night y'all were doing your video, I was live doing it, so. The boss? Well, she can have... She can have the name the boss, but um she she knows I don't always listen, which is normally a bad thing. Cause she's normally right when I should buy something. Here's here's a few. There's the future reflections. There's the black Bowman Sterling. There's his USA. There's his Bowman Sterling regular. Uh, my eyes are watered in bed. <clears throat> There's his first Bowman X Fractor auto. And then I have several, several more that aren't graded yet. But I have his Topps Chrome update, his Topps update. Um, so. Probably a bunch I'm missing. Um, 
Um, we don't have any, I don't think we have any senators, but we do have some expos, yes. No, actually, there, there's something wrong with my eyes right now. They are burning. I don't know what, but they're burning. <clears throat> but I would love to get a Ted Williams um, senator's card when he was the manager. So let me go back up. She said next Saturday. Next Saturday. Okay. So that is, what day is that? We can't do next Saturday. Guys, we can't do next Saturday. I'm not going to do that. Talk to you later, Nass man. Yeah, I can't, I can't do next Saturday. That's July 4th. I'm not going to do that. People will be out and everything else. So, we'll figure it out, guys. I'm not going to do that. I'm looking at the calendar. How is the 4th on a Tuesday? Man. Yeah, so we can't do next Saturday on that, guys. I'm not going to do that. I want everybody to try to enjoy time with their family and everything. This has been a crazy year. Um, hopefully, you know, they can set some things up to, I, I don't know. It's going to be weird, but... um. <laughs> no, I'll I'll get one set up, guys. We'll we'll get it figured out. I'll post it in the group. Um, but we'll we'll get another one set up. I'll post it in the group. We'll have some fun with it. Um, but I'm not gonna do next Saturday because that's that that's a day I want everybody to to do stuff with their family, so, but, um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out, um, anyway, guys, I want to apologize again if I've caused any problems with people doing bids or anything, um, I'll, I'll try to check card ladder out in the future, see, see how that progresses, um, we'll see what goes on with the NBA and their schedule. Um, but anyway, guys, as always, be safe, be healthy, and until the next video.